Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Stampin' Up! with Jamie. Thank you for joining me. This is my uh, Wednesday night Facebook Live. If you're catching this on YouTube, thanks so much. Below, you'll find a link to my blog as well as a link to my store. And if you have any questions, certainly let me know. I'm going to um, be using the brand new It Starts With Art uh, bundle from the 2019-2020 Stampin' Up! annual catalog um, tonight. Hi, Amy. Good evening. How is everyone tonight? I'm trying to pull up comments on my computer here and then we'll get going. Jump right in. Don't want to waste anyone's time. Hi, Karen. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hi, Linda. Good evening. Hi, Barbara. Thank you for sharing it. I so appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to just dive right in and get started. Um, this is the card I'm making for you tonight. Uh, it uses brand spanking new product. Uh, I actually um, opened it up just for tonight's card, which is uh, pretty exciting. Hi, Jeannie. Good evening. Oh, thank you so much. Hi, Lori. Good evening. Um, my color palette that I'm playing with is... Let's see if I can get you to see this. Uh, Purple Posy, which is one of the new 2019-2021 uh, in colors. It's part of five new in colors that will be with us for two years. Uh, Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Balmy Blue. Hi, Sharon. Good evening. So these are the colors that um, I'm working with. It's kind of unusual for me. I try and stick to no more than three colors uh, when making a card or a project. And sometimes I only use two. So the fact that I'm using four kind of pushed me a little bit. Good evening, Michelle. Um, but primarily the colors that I most use would be the balmy blue and the purple posy. Uh, the Coastal Cabana and Bermuda Bay, I only kind of highlight a little bit in the buttons here. So... It's pretty much a two-tone card. However, there are four colors um, worked into it as a whole. Let me show you uh, this bundle. Uh, it starts off with the, it starts with art, <laughs> um, stamp set here. Um, love those colors together. Oh, thank you so very much. That's very unlike you. I know, Karen. I, so I, I know. I even kind of surprised myself. <laughs> Um, but I thought the colors went really well together. I thought they were very fun. Um, and just it, because like these are kind of, well, these two are kind of in the same family. I felt like they just kind of worked well together. It wasn't overwhelming. Thanks for sharing, Sharon. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, this stamp set here is um, really fun. It takes images that we already use um, as customers and works it into um, stamped images. Hi, Lynn. Good evening. Such a risk taker with all those colors. <laughs> you know me. <laughs> That's funny. Um, these markers down here are supposed to mimic our Stampin' Write markers and the Stampin' Blends. Um, we have three spools of ribbon here. Um, we have a reinker, which again mi mimics our reinkers that we use. This guy I just think is so much fun. Um, the clip some buttons and then I you know me I just love punny sentiments I will almost buy just a stamp set if it has really cute punny sentiments hi Trudy good evening so um follow your art like I'm sorry that's what we're using tonight you had me at that one um let's stay up late and craft I do my best crafting um, you know, like at 9, 10, 11 o'clock or later, if um, I had a scrapbooking retreat, I will stay up until 2 or 3 in the morning because that's when I'm at my best. Um, you make everything sparkle. You paint my world with happiness. So really fun um, images and sentiments. And although it's kind of like art related, um, they have sentiments that really will work for a multitude of occasions, which is always helpful. Um, and I like these because they're kind of encouraging. They're kind of just because cards, which I've said before, are my absolute favorite to sh um, to send. Now it does. Let's see here. Come with uh, dies. These are called arts and crafts dies. Now, if you get them together, this will have its own product number, and um, you will save the ten percent in buying it together as a bundle. But you can buy them separately if you so choose but you're gonna want these dies for sure. Um, a lot of them coordinate with the images and the stamps. So this is the three, um, the two markers and the pencil. That's our re the clip. 
This one is the spool of thread. But down here we have these really, really fun stitched dies. All these buttons, which are the ones I'm using tonight. I didn't use these three little guys. I use these four ones here. Those are um, what I use for the background image. And this paper clip, how cute is that? I am using him as well. Um, really fun, oh, and we have a square button over here as well. So really fun stitched, um, so these will uh, emboss as well as uh, die cut. So really, really fun. These are great because, well, the buttons kind of is very artsy, but these other ones you can use for any cards. You don't have to just use them for this particular, like with the stamp set. It really can be used for a variety of different cards. So that's always fun. Okay. Let's get going tonight. My, and I always forget my bone folder. Oh, where is it? Oh boy, I'm gonna have to use a block because I didn't get, I didn't take my bone folder out. Okay, um, this is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This is balmy blue, and I'm doing the the landscape. I think it is that orientation. I think it's called landscape. And then I have a panel of whisper white cardstock and a panel of purple posy. Um, yes, more trends. Yay. Hi, Christy. Good evening. Thank you. Appreciate it. The Purple Posy is just a really beautiful, almost like lavender, but not so pastel-y, if that makes sense. So it's like a light purple, um, but it's not like, I wouldn't call it cutesy. You know, I wouldn't call it, um, like baby. Um, I just think it's such a really pretty soft color. So, um, Pamela, this is, let me tell you the dimensions three and five eighths by four and seven eighths and the purple posy is the same now ahead of time because I figured you weren't going to want to watch me cut out a million buttons I cut out all these buttons ahead of time and I use the four bigger round um buttons let me show them again to you I use this one and this guy and this guy and this guy I didn't use those or the square one and I cut out four of each color Oops, as one goes flying. So they have some nice, uh, there you go, I'm trying to get to the light for you. Nice texture on them, and they're stitched. Just really pretty. I love them. I thought they were just so fun. How fun are buttons? And you can, um, they do have the holes in the middle, so if you wanted to tie some baker's twine through them or some linen thread to tie a bow, um, now you don't have to be like, hmm, I wonder if Stampin' Up! sells a button in this color. You can make your own button in that color. <laughs> so that is just making it, you know, so fun for you guys and for myself. And all I did is literally what I'm doing right now is kind of put them all around my card taking into consideration that my inside kind of here was going to be um covered so i didn't have to put buttons there and i tried to sort of not put the same buttons or colors next to each other see like those two are together so i think i'm gonna swap like that and play with it until you like the way it looks um how about we have him there i was very tempted to take a picture at ahead of time um so that i kind of because i like the way it came out yeah um when i made it yesterday um but i thought nah, it doesn't have to be perfectly the same so we're gonna call does that look good kind of evenly spaced somewhat and you want them hanging off because artistically I don't know. That's what you do. <laughs> Good evening, uh, Amy. Hello. <laughs> so I'm going to take some liquid glue. This might take just a little bit of time, so bear with me. But I did cut them ahead of time. I figured you won't have to. <laughs> Can you imagine sitting there watching me die cut four of each color? Again, these are Coastal Cabana, Purple Posy, Bermuda Bay, and Balmy Blue. And... I'm just kind of throwing them on. <laughs> the This liquid glue is pretty strong, so it'll hold it down. And then make sure you're gluing the bottom down. Like, I almost accidentally glued the top down there. Um, and go all the way around. Oops. And then I'm going to flip it over, and I'm going to just give it a little trim, a little haircut. Like so. 
Okay. Again, this is in the new 2019-2020 annual catalog. It will be available beginning June 4th. I have no clue what day of the... That has to be a Tuesday, I'm assuming. June 4th. Um, I mailed out catalogs today. So if, you were, if you're a customer of mine, if you've placed an order from me within the past year, or if you specifically requested a catalog from, from me, um, they all went out today. If for some reason you don't get it or you forgot to request one and still want one um, from me, certainly let me know because I have extras and I would be happy to pop one in the mail for you. Okay. You're going to want it. It's super good. It's such a, such a, such a good catalog. It's almost a little dangerous. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like when you don't want it all, you need it all. That's when you know it's a dangerous catalog. <laughs> okay. I'm going to let that dry for just a second and glue down my purple posy in the meantime. At first I was going to layer the one over the other, you know, like I would normally do. Um, kind of mat one over the other, but I thought it's an artistic card and it's kind of fun. So why not put them at an angle? So I just went as far as I could go up and down without it running off the card, um, and kind of centered more or less. Then, um, if you flip it around, you can see that all these guys are hanging off. So, oops. Let's see. Okay, uh, we're just going to take my uh, paper snips and trim off all the excess pieces so that they're all within the whisper white bounds, <laughs> so to speak. And oops, try not to do what I just did, which is trim the actual whisper white. And you're definitely going to want to flip it over and do it from the back because then you know exactly... Uh, what needs to be cut and you're not accidentally cutting something that shouldn't be cut or not cutting enough of it as well. Okay. Let's get rid of all of our pieces and that's what we're left with. So as you can see four, unless you're doing the inside, if you, if I had to fill the inside, you'd either have to spread them out a little bit more or just cut um, more buttons. But um, to do this design pretty much four, of each color, four of four, so 16, um, pretty much fills the cardstock enough. And again, if you wanted it more spread out to not leave a hole in the middle, you can do that. Now, in my, in my sample here, I do have this purple posy going um, straight across. And so that it doesn't mess too much with your eye, I did have this one not cocked. I had it straight on. It kind of still messes with your eye a little bit. You're looking at it going, is that straight? I can't tell if that's straight. But and again, it's just like part of like an art, I don't know, like an artsy card. This is an artsy card. I have to get this set. Yes, you do, Jeannie. I have to say, um, this was it in my pre-pre-order back in, when did we go? Oh my goodness, April. Um, but I knew I still wanted it. So I treated myself to it uh, when we could still pre-order when it opened a couple weeks ago. Happy Mother's Day to me. <laughs> okay, so I took, let me show you. So I've already opened it and started uh, trimming. But this is the 2019-2021 in color 6x6 designer series paper. You get, does it say, 40 sheets in it. So you get all um, five new in colors. This is our pretty peacock. Um, purple posy. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this on, on the fly. Uh, Rococo Rose. One, two, three. I'm missing one. There we go. Uh, Seaside Spray and Terracotta Tile has uh, all five of those colors. And then each color comes with uh, multiples of two packs. So you have that one on one side and kind of this really beautiful cursive script on the back. And then you have, we all love that gingham paper from the Occasions catalog, um, which came in, what, five colors? But this, we will have gingham in every color. Um, so you'll get uh, gingham in all five of these colors, and then all the other color packs will come with um, the gingham as well. And then this Argyle. It's a great pack of DSP. Yes. So this pack of paper 
um, these designs will come in this in color, the 2018-2020 in color, and all the color families. Um, these are just great because sometimes you want some DSP and you're like, oh, Stampin' Up! didn't come out with one a pack that has the color I need. And that just completely fills the void. I will say, if you don't need a full pack of paper, it is included in my paper product. My product share, excuse me. Uh, my product share, um, I offer single and double shares of the designer series paper, depending on what you're looking for. Um, and it gets all these beautiful papers, all the new designer series paper from the annual catalog into your hand at a fraction of the price because you're buying a piece of this pack um, instead of the whole pack. And then I mail it out to you. So um, definitely head over to my blog. Um, that will be available until June 3rd. Yay for gingham in every color. I agree, Amy. Absolutely. So I'm using the Purple Posy one. I cut it at one and a half by five and a half. And then the Whisper White that I'm matting it on um, is just an eighth bigger. <laughs> I'll measure that in a second. This is one and five eighths by five and a half. So it's just matted because, you know. If I didn't mat this one, I at least had to mat this one. <laughs> there had to be matting on this somewhere. Um, and I adhered this down with, actually, you know what, before I do, well, yeah, before I do that, let's do the paper clip. Um, I first wanted to use the, what is it called, binder clip? I have no clue what the official term is for this guy. Oh, hold on. Let me show you the picture. This guy. Um, but then I opened up the, the dies and I was like, as I drop it, I was like, oh, no, 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 I'm using the paper clip. <laughs> so I cut just a paper clip of Bommy Blue. Um, you do have to be careful. He's a little fragile. He, I mean, he's just made out of paper, so he will bend and tear and rip if you're a little um, strong handed with it. So just be mindful of that. And all I did, how did I do this? I just glued him on so I kind of got him positioned so originally I wasn't going to glue him down which sounds kind of silly like of course I'm going to want to glue him down a binder clip okay <laughs> that's what I thought but then I second guessed myself so on the back here I guess I didn't even have to put glue I could have just put um adhesive but I, glue I think is a little stronger but now I have glue on the back so if I flip that over I'm going to have it stick to my grid paper. So let's put a little um, scrap paper behind that. And then I'm just going to put a couple dabs of glue here. And glue down the front of it so he stays put. Like that. Oh, it wants to stick to that paper. Okay. And then I um, adhered everything down with Stampin' Dimensionals. Now, I don't want to go too far over because um, it'll run off the edge there and it won't be um, flat. So I just kind of put four in the corner and then one in the middle. Like so. Ah, I can't get it up. There we go. Did I get them all off? Sometimes I forget and I'm like, why isn't that sticking? Oh, because I didn't take the backing off of it. So this one's um, going straight on, and I'm gonna, I've am gonna. i said it before what my tip is, is we have this grid paper which perfectly, um, you know, is <laughs> straight lines perfect. So I butt my card right up to those lines. So my eye is naturally seeing straight, which just helps everything I put down be straight. Although not foolproof. <laughs> not completely foolproof. Okay, like that. <laughs> there we go. So now I'm going to work on my spool of thread here. Now, um, you might think I'm a little, a little crazy, but I toyed with the idea of putting, um, stamping it in black and then coloring it in with like the Stampin' Blends markers. Um, but I have this weird thing about putting black on my cards. Um, if there's not black somewhere else in my card, I don't like using black. I know. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's just kind of, I don't know, my thing. Uh, and so I didn't, I toyed with like having the Sentinel be in black cardstock or the paper clip in black, but I really just liked um, the four tone of the card. And adding black would have added a fifth color, which whew, I was already pushing 
pushing what I was comfortable with. Um, so what I decided to do was stamp the spool of thread right in balmy blue ink. Like so. And then all I did is I took our Stampin' Blends markers, the balmy blue ones, and I started with my light shade, the brush side of it. And I just added um, kind of low lights or highlights. I don't know, I guess. I don't know which one's which. Where I thought there might be like a shadow. So like there and then over here and then over here and then down here and up here and <laughs> over here. And right here and up here. Just like very, very subtle, subtle lines. And then I took the fine tip of the dark balmy blue and just went against almost the outside where even like where that I stamped the line is. Does that make sense? The line that was stamped and just add even more of a, a low light there like so. Oh, I think I missed that one. Oh, I missed this one. It's very, very subtle. Oh, I missed this one. I knew I forgot one over here. But I think it helps kind of, because I'm using the sentiment, follow your art. It's a word play on heart. I kind of wanted to accent the heart. So that's kind of was my my thought process behind that, and I didn't necessarily want to add the black in here. I, I kind of like it just like these fun, bright um, colors. And then I'm going to use the dye, which is this guy right here. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know to look at it. It almost looks like a teacup. I thought it looked like a teacup. And I'm gonna use my die cutting machine here. Hi, Avanel, good evening. And I'm just gonna do this off screen. Keep in mind with our new um, die cuts, the ones that are coming out, um, we have a new manufacturer for this uh, annual catalog. The die cuts are a lot closer to the image. So you know how before you used to have, um, you'd put the die over the stamped image and there'd be like a white line around it? Well now it like butts right up next to it. So. You know what I mean? I don't know if I explained that well, but you almost don't see the 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 edge, the stamped edge. It goes right up to it. This is fun because it actually cuts out the heart too, which I think is kind of fun. And where's our card? Here's our card. We're gonna add dimensionals because you have to. I'm sorry. <laughs> there should have been um an image of a dimensional <laughs> because I use them so much. And then I'm gonna use the mini ones here to put one um, in the heart and then one down below with the heart. That's how I did that. Can you see it? I'm trying to catch the light. There we go. And peel them off. And ah, there we go. And this almost like perfectly fits the height, <laughs> that one and a half height. Now, here's the thing. Uh, yesterday when I was making this card, I stamped the follow your art. I got a little distracted. I went back to adhere it down and I couldn't find it like anywhere. I thought I must have accidentally thrown away. So what did I do? I stamped it again, reheated it again, did the whole process again, only to today. It was like right on my workstation. So I'm actually not going to do the sentiment for you. I'm going to just use the one I did yesterday. That sounds exciting. No more white lines around die cuts. Well, there is an, uh, a line around the stamped image, Linda, just so you know. There is like a white outline there, but not when you line up the die cut to cut it out. There won't be a line. I hope that makes sense. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to use the stamp set. Oh, I dropped it. Well, not the stamp set. The, sta the sentiment follow your art. That's what I did. Um, this here is about a half an inch by two and three quarters, um, stamp it in Versamark, sprinkle it with white embossing powder, and then heat set it. That's how you do that. Simple heat embossing. 
but I'm just going to use the one I already did because I found it today. I could not believe it. I mean, I looked everywhere for this thing yesterday. I thought for sure I had accidentally thrown it away for sure. And there it was just sitting on my, uh, on my workstation. I couldn't believe it. And aim for straight. And then I like to tuck the sentiment under a little bit there. And ta-da. There we go. How fun is that? I just thought this was a really fun um, card. You know, my my uh, team name for my my uh, downline and my team is Art Art and Soul um, Stampers, and so I like to play off of the word art, um, like heart. And so I thought this was just just such a fun follow your art <laughs> um, sentiment. So there we have it. Thank you all for watching with me tonight. Um, if you've been watching and haven't yet left a, a comment of some sort, um, please do so if you want to earn tonight or not earn win tonight's card. I'm going to throw all your names in a hat and pull one out for someone to win tonight's card. Um, if you're interested in my product share, all the information is on my blog. You can find it right up there in the menu. Um, and in the meantime, have a great evening, everyone. I will see you next week. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.